Hi guys, welcome back to Mala Image. If this is your first time, hi, my name is Rishé. I'm a lover of fashion, the business of fashion. I'm also a little obsessed with vintage. If this is your first time, I do a lot of styling content here, primarily through thrifted or vintage finds. So if you do like styling content, please consider subscribing. I'd love for you to join the family. So today I went to My Unique. My Unique is, you know, now becoming one of my favorite spots now that I've been going there for a while and they always have something for me. So I feel very very confident in going to my unique especially when I am crunched for time um, I think I didn't have as good as a day today because because you know I couldn't get there first thing in the morning so when you're getting there closer to the end I think I've probably missed out on a few things but I did get a few things nonetheless um, so I'm gonna go into the comfort with me and then I'll come back here and I'll show you what I got Starting in the vintage skirts, I saw this little chambray denim number. It has like these lines here. Um, not really my style, but I thought, you know, it's in pristine condition. It's so fun to find um, vintage, you know, brand new. <laughs> you know, it's, it doesn't get old to me, but I love, love, love that this is in like pristine condition. Uh, cute little floral um dress skirt i mean it's a full button down so you could definitely get your parisian vibe with this hopefully you can hear me there's a lot of music um but yeah this is by sag harbor i already have like a dark um blue discipline skirt so i'm definitely gonna leave this today here's another paisley print number this is a pants and this is by lauren ralph lauren um it's a size four so it would fit me they're asking 39.99 for it it definitely wouldn't necessarily go with the jacket I found. Um, and if it was wide leg, I think I'd go for it. But just being a straight leg, I think I'll pass on this one. But very fun. This now is by um, Liz Claiborne. I'm loving this print. It's very light colored. So I think it would be great for spring, summer. Um, it's by Liz Claiborne. They're only asking $10 for this. So I think I might try it. It is a size 4. So it might fit let's see this is a fun print it's like a peachy pink type of number it is a straight leg um this is by blue ice and it is 94 percent silk and six percent wool <laughs> clearly i can't you know do my addition it's a size six so maybe it will fit um i'm not sure but let's see i love the color this is fun this is a navy blue pants but what I love is it has these little floral um, embroidery on it which <laughs> I think that's such a fun addition and of course it's lightweight so it still would work for spring summer and making and with these embroidery make it even more fun um, it's a uh, Paul Smith I'm not sure what size here is it a sample it says size 44 so I'm not certain but we'll see Paul Smith is that Italian? bright red shift dress with you know some fabulous vintage buttons little ones here on the pocket and just this little peak hole I forgot what you call this um, neckline but very very cute again fun little red shift dress again even though it's look like it's you know work wear just belting it and just putting on a fun like kidney heel or um, espadrille wedges You've got the fun, fun, fun spring dress. Spring, summer dress, actually. But yeah, not my size, but very cute.
seven and a half section. I'm not seeing anything really um, spring summery. Um, there are these. There's absolutely no branding on it. Um, it just says size 38, which is my size. Uh, so I'm not sure. I love the square toe. It depends on how it looks on my foot. So yeah, not much like spring-esque. Oh, I love me a cap toe. Maybe. <laughs> leave much room in my budget um, but yeah these are actually a little big because they're size 8 um, but this one especially I think I could pull off even though it's a little roomy it actually makes the um, pointy toe very com comfy so but yeah so I'm not sure about the shoes for $25 Um, that we just saw you can see it better now but I really like this embroidered dress it's very very feminine very classic style it does have a little um, faint pleating here like eyelet de details going on through this dress uh, they do want 40 for it it's an extra small but I think this would have fit very nicely but yeah it's a nice linen breathable fabric for you know spring summer so this is so fun here's another dress in the lighter color which i think i'm preferring this one and this print also by udell i did, did just check the website however and um these dresses i think the style is about 89 dollars on the website it is new with tag but they're not giving us yeah this is 85 dollars so they're not giving us much leeway at $50 here um, but yeah I mean it's brand new with tag you're still getting about $50 off so it's still a good deal but not what I'm looking for right now that would be my whole budget <laughs> although it's Zara I would definitely get this snake skin dress the problem with Zara they always have very narrow hips so whereas the top would fit me um, it can't get over my butt <laughs> with these little things and there's no stretch um, that's the only thing and um, the last time I had one of these I had to just cut the bottom off and turn it into a top but I really love the color of this Zara little dress but um yeah it's not gonna it's not gonna fit over my butt so I'm gonna leave this one picking up too much I love this coach messenger bag and um, I think it's um, authentic as well but I do love this coach messenger bag I haven't seen much of these around
in today's total I got a total of 58 28 and I you know last week I did a lot of tops I was glad to get a few bottoms well pants this time so I'm gonna head straight into accessories you know I need to just avoid the back section but I think I'm just gonna go there fill my eyes look at the pretty things and walk away and then I end up picking up you know more handbags but it's more you know spring summery and so I decided to grab first of all this little pink one now if this doesn't say spring summer I don't know what does it's a nice large tote so you know I decided to grab this now I have seen this a few times online um, I think like on Poshmark or one of those other places and I have left it I've seen it also in like more tan color um, and now that I have it here, I'm wondering if the one I've seen before was smaller than this. But I think for every day, instead of grabbing a black or brown, if I want an everyday um, bag, I think this color will be really nice for that. It has this cute little bow here. Um, inside, there's a little pocket situation here where there's like two... Um, I'm not sure what you fit in here, but this one especially is a good little size. Then we still have this section and it has a mirror on it, you know, good old, <laughs> oh, you can even put a card in here, you know, list flavor, you can replace it with your own card, but I have a mirror. Then I have this little center slot right here and then more space and a back pocket. So really, really, really good size bag for every day. Um, and I can have it in a pop of color, so that's fun. So that's the first thing that I got. So there were a lot of bag temptations. Um, I left the coach. I'm still thinking if I should have gotten it, but I just don't think I'm a messenger bag type of person. But I did like that dark um, coach print style. I'm not sure. Maybe I would have preferred if it was a show of... Um, over the shoulder rather than a crossbody but um it was very it was very cute I liked the style of it but looking at it it didn't I didn't feel like it suited me but maybe it was what I was wearing so that's why I'm not so sure if I should have left it but anyhow it's not here it's gone what I couldn't leave which is what I should have left <laughs> is another little straw um, thing I know I just got the um, Kate Spade little bag but that's gonna be more, you know, daytime every day. But if I wanna do a small um, event type bag, then this will work perfectly. I also have the Loewe Ve, which is also a shoulder bag. So that's more like, you know, where I'm wearing browns or neutral tones. Um, I'm justifying it. But yeah, so this little one will be for more like daytime events. So I decided to grab it. And because it was genuine wood and leather, I thought it was a very good quality. And this was just um, $15. I think orange tag was uh, like 25% off or something. So less than $15. So I decided to grab this. But it was a, it's a fun one. It's a fun little one. Next up, thinking um, more warmer weather, spring into summer, I decided to pick up two little dresses. The first of which is this little one. Um, I just love the appliques on it. It was a fun, and it's not like a stark white. It's like a um, cream base and with a neutral tone under, giving it almost like a fleshy kind of look. So that's the first of the dresses that I got. But yeah cute little halter I was looking for halter necks and that's how I stumbled upon this which is what led me to the next item which is <laughs> the gold version now this of course is a lot more dressy I'm thinking more you know spring summer cocktails um, which is why I picked this one up and like I said it's just good to have something in my closet where you know last minute I decide I want to go somewhere I have something that I can throw on so um, this is the next thing I forgot to say the brand is to be rich R Y C H <laughs> this is what the tag looks like I came and looked it up um, they, it goes for about 150 or so it is new with tags but right now it's actually selling at Walmart for about $52 so <laughs> I still got this for about 12 so you know it's just a fun little cocktail gold cocktail dress so 
why not? Easy throw on and yeah. First up is this fun little day dress. It, I don't think I actually said where it's from. It's by Dubi, and it's a fun little boutique brand that I know of. Um, so yeah, I'm just styling with these fun yellow. If you're new here, these are Bottega dupes, not the real Bottega. <laughs> and my little um, straw bag. So like I said, if I'm having a fun little cocktail day event, then this little dress and this little. Um, keeping it nice and spring summery with this little bag is just a fun little look for a day event. So yeah, this is the first of the two dresses and I love it. Nice, relaxed, very forgiving with the A-line shape. So yeah, and I've been looking for halter neck. I did mess up with a little makeup, but it's fine. I can fix that. <laughs> but this is the first thing that I got. So next up is the gold halter neck dress and I absolutely am loving the fit of this. It is exactly what I wanted it to do. Um, I do love how it just um, billows out here because the problem with mini dresses when they suck on they ride up. So the fact that this flows away from the body it's really making it very flattering um, on. So this is what this looks like. I just grabbed a little vintage um, gold chain link chevron bag. So this is how uh, this looks. So two for two with these dresses, the first of which is a fun daytime dress. And this, you know, it'll be easier to say yes to invites if there's something I'm dying to wear. <laughs> So that's what these dresses are. They will make me get out the house and say yes to events. So it's just good to have a few of these little things um, hanging around. So yeah, this is the next dress and absolutely love this. Now for the bottoms that I found. Uh, the first one, of course, I took this one. I just loved the navy blue with these little floral embroidery details on the hem. It's just very plainful, but still not too you know, eclectic is the word, I'm not sure. But yeah, I just really liked this. And when it gets so hot, denim will, you know, start to stick on you. So this, I think, will take place of the denim when, you know, it's too hot. It's nice and breezy. Was there a um, tag here? So it says it's wool, but it's a very lightweight wool. So I think it will be fine for um, warmer weathers. I still don't know if it fits, but because it's a thinner material even if I need to take the waist in a little bit it won't be um that much of a hassle this was by um Hull Smith so yeah this is a fun 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 little piece I have a little spare button here I'm not sure if this was a sample you usually see this in samples or it's just the brand how they make it but yeah so this is um the next thing that I got so first is this little navy pants with these um, embroidered um, appliques and I love, love, love it. I wanted to throw a vest on, um, making it very streamlined but playful at the same time by adding this cardigan over, which is, you know, I'm mixing it up rather than having a blazer. It's still quite chilly. As much as I'm thrifting spring items, it was actually rain all day so you would have seen me in my um lug sole boots because you know we're thinking bright and we're thinking warm hence my cardigan to keep it nice and fun and i think this color green and navy goes well together i just grabbed this little fendi baguette and i think you know it's very classic very chic but still very fun with this pop of color i've kept i don't know i think these little yellow um, heels are gonna be the color for the season. I actually didn't wear them much um, last year and I've been just pairing it with everything so I think I'm definitely gonna get the wear out of it this <laughs> spring summer so yeah so this is how I've styled this fun little navy pant. Next I decided to try this little pink um, pants number. This was by Blue Ice this is what the label looks like. It's a size six, but of course, um, it is vintage six, so I'm thinking it will fit. I'm just concerned about here. It's a very 
<laughs> long drop to the crotch <laughs> so <laughs> hopefully it's flattering um, and it's 94% silk 8% 6% wool can't really count but yeah I just decided you know this is gonna be a fun little number for spring summer so why not I'm you know I'm pushing myself in there you know if I do feel for something lighter at least I have something to pull on instead of going for the same more neutral colors so we have we're playing with some colors for spring summer yes so next up is these um i'm gonna go with salmon colored pants and i've paired it with some deeper brown just to take down that um little bright sharpness on the color just a little bit i love it but you know you know bringing it down just a tad <laughs> i didn't go with a stark white either this is kind of like a bone white top kept it nice and feminine um but i really love the fit on it i was worried about you know maybe my crotch would have been too long but it's a nice high-waisted pants and i really really love this it's very relaxed and um yeah so i just paired it with this vintage belt dark brown belt also this chocolate brown um suede heels by manolos i picked up the fendi bag again because that dark brown was really working with this so it's anchoring this bright salmon color right now i'll play around with this color some more in my closet when i pull out my spring summer items from storage but for now i'm loving it very just feminine and just you know it's saying spring feminine bright and a very happy very happy look the last thing that i have i also went ahead and grabbed this one i'm not sure if you can see this really well i just loved the pattern of this and i thought this again i thought is a fun little print um to break up the neutrals i'm trying to really really break up the neutrals for spring summer and it is by liz claiborne liz wear jeans and this is the tabita so again this is a size four so it should fit me there is you know not much stretch but it's lightweight i should be fine <laughs> just in case it runs small um but yeah so this is the last thing that i got and last week you know we got tops this week we got bottoms i'm not i'm not i'm not mad about it so <laughs> now i'll have something to wear all those tops with so <laughs> that's the last thing that i got and finally it is this printed pants and oh my goodness one i think i did really well eyeballing these pants today there's a little um tightness here right in the thighs but overall i think it's such a really good fit it's a nice high-waisted pants and i love it i love it with this little mustard top um <laughs> this little embellishment here it just gives it such a very you know put together um look and i love it i've put it on with these um champagne gold snake skin sling back kitten heels <laughs> grabbed this fendi and a uh, fun vintage uh it's not too vintage but a uh, fun um leather belt i just love this um what do you call this antique gold buckle i thought it worked well with this color scheme that's going on here i also love it with this fun little vintage bag i had picked this up um on a non haul <laughs> day i was just um browsing about and found this little number and i love it with this look as well because there's structure to it but it's also very playful very fun which i think is the same for this little bag here so i just love 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 this little combo so this is the last thing that i got and i love the pants um i love that this was a semi pants haul and dresses because i tend to not get dresses and i got two um so yeah this was like filling the gap of some of the things that i haven't been finding recently so absolutely love this so yeah that's the last thing that i got so guys that's it thank you so much for watching don't forget to let me know in the comment section what look is your favorite what piece is your favorite as well don't forget to subscribe i'd love for you to join the family and if you did like this video please give it a like and i'll see you guys in the next one